What up guys, welcome back to Moto Misha Mon. This is your boy, like usual, Moto Misha. Well, unfortunately, today's video has more of a somber tone as we are reviewing a recent tragedy in the motorcycle racing world of Dean Berta Vinales' superbike crash, cousin of Aprilia's MotoGP racer, Maverick Vinales. Maverick Vinales has released his first statement in the aftermath of his cousin Dean Berta Vinales' death last weekend, calling it a heavy blow to the racing family. The 15-year-old Dean Berta Vinales was in a tight battle for position on lap 11 of the World Supersport 300 event at Jerez after suffering a head injury in a multi-bike collision that resulted in the race immediately being red flagged. The medical vehicles were dispatched quickly to the scene and the rider was treated on the track in the ambulance at the Circuit Medical Center. Despite the best efforts of the Circuit Medical Team, Berta Vinales succumbed to the result of his injuries and passed away September 25th, 2021, according to the Medical Center. He was riding for the Vinales Racing Yamaha team, which was controlled by Angel Vinales, Maverick Vinales' father. Maverick Vinales, the eldest member of the Vinales Racing family, is an eight-time MotoGP race winner who just transferred to Aprilia earlier this season after ending a tumultuous, and I mean tumultuous, relationship with Yamaha. Isaac Vinales, Dean Berta's cousin, rides with Oralak Kawasaki in the World Superbike Championship and was there at the time of the accident in Jerez. Unfortunately, he did not compete in the World Superbike races on Sunday, opting out after suffering the loss of his cousin. Maverick shared his grief at the death of his little relative on Instagram, saying, There are no words to describe this moment. It has been a devastating blow to our family. I'll never forget the small squabbles we used to have all the time. You're our feo and you'll always be a part of us. I'm sending you a big kiss from wherever you are. Dean Berta Vinales was racing in his maiden World Supersport 300 season, and after making a solid improvement throughout the first half of the season, he recently experienced a dramatic upturn in fortunes, finishing fourth at Magnicourt and sixth in Barcelona. He is the third young professional racer to die in an accident on a high-profile circuit this season, following Jason Dupasquier during the Mugello Moto3 weekend and Hugo Milan, a 14-year-old CEV Repsol Moto3 racer at Motorland Aragon. Unfortunately, this is a gruesome yet real reminder that the world of GP and superbike racing is extremely dangerous with riders putting their lives on the line race after race. All the fun and joy of racing can be taken away in the blink of an eye. Just ask Valentino Rossi about the Austrian GP in 2020. He'll tell you the same thing. I guess if there's one lesson to be learned from this most recent fatality of motorcycle racing is to appreciate life while you have it and tell your loved ones that you love them because you never know when it will be the last time you ever see them. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you have stuck around this long, hit that like button, drop a comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Until next time, this is Moto Misha, checking out. Peace.